Hey Virgos, welcome to my channel. My name is Katie. Today we're going to be doing your reading for the full moon in Libra this month of April. This is the second full moon in Libra we have. So it is a blue moon. Like that saying goes, once in a blue moon. <laughs> I'm going to be sharing in another video all of the specific aspects of this full moon and a little practice and ritual that you can do to make the most out of it. That's going to be in a different video for the whole collective. This is for you Virgos to see how you're going to be dealing with this full moon and how it may feel for you. What processes you need to keep in mind, what messages are coming through, etc. So it seems like you might be adopting a very objective perspective out of this full moon. In regards to your connections to others, in regards to your communications with others, it seems like you're going to be cutting through the bullshit and seeing things for what they are, for better or for worse. It seems like there's a new level of clarity within you. Maybe a truth has been revealed. You've had an aha moment, an epiphany, or an important conversation with someone you care about that has led you to understand that there's some things you may need to leave behind. There's some things that simply are not suited for you anymore so you're definitely letting go of something or someone and this is a decision that you are making consciously something that makes you feel good and it could be due to lack of clarity in that situation or in that relationship it could be due to um, lack of clarity within yourself lack of honesty um, in general like maybe you've been not completely honest with yourself about this person maybe that person hasn't been completely honest with themselves about you or there has been um, miscommunications and lack of honesty and transparency in between you guys. So it seems that you're gonna be letting go of someone who might have felt important for you at the time, but has served their purpose. Sorry if I'm speaking super fast. I don't know why I'm speaking so fast. <laughs> um, you are headed into a nice place. You know, you're going where you need to go and you know that you can't take everybody with you. So you're letting go of all the people that simply you know cannot be taken into that bright future of yours and that's okay it's not personal and it doesn't have to be you can make this very objective and you can just you know end things in a good way with everybody that you feel like you need to end things with no drama no problem just moving on into something better which is good i feel like the energies are very light i feel like they're very aligned it feels good it feels feels yeah, it feels light. It seems like you're going to be doing very well um, financially speaking. Maybe after this full moon, it's like you find the answers that you need in order to make that money come to you enough for you to get what you deserve and to also share with those who you would like to share that abundance with. At the same time, make sure that you are focusing on all the things that are going right as opposed to focusing on all the things that maybe you don't have or you feel like you're missing. It seems like luck is on your side on this full moon. It seems like there's a completion that is important and everything is balanced. Everything is going the right way. Just make sure to let go of all the things that you need to let go of. Don't let emotions um, make you attach to things that are not for your highest good or that have served their purpose. So I'm going to be pulling one additional message. I don't know why I'm speaking so fast. Could it be that you guys are feeling a little bit um, excited this full moon? A little bit too excited? Maybe I'm picking up on your energy and that's why I'm speaking so fast. That happens sometimes. So your messages for this full moon, for you to keep them in mind as mantras or messages to help you with this transition are the following. When I think I have surrendered, I surrender more. My outer experiences are a reflection of my internal condition. My energy creates my reality. What I focus on is what I will manifest. When I think I've surrendered, I surrender more. When I think I surrender, I surrender more. It's like when you feel like you have surrendered everything and that absolutely nothing is in your control, there usually comes a time in which you realize there's a whole lot more that you need to surrender still. My outer experiences are a reflection of my internal condition. My energy creates my reality. What I focus on is what I will manifest. So yes, you guys, we have the full moon here illuminating this reading again. Um, you are in a good place. 
you're in a good place. Just keep these messages, meditate on these messages, maybe write them down on your journal and see what comes up for you. Let go of everything and don't even make it personal. Just let go. Let go, let go, let go. Open space for the new. And this full moon is going to bring in so much goodness for you. So much abundance for you. So yeah, you guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you here. I do longer monthly readings for every zodiac sign. You can check out your April reading. It's already uploaded. I do full moon readings, new moon readings, new moon reports, full moon reports. I do Monday deck reviews. I do Friday love attraction videos. There's a lot going on. I'm in love with YouTube, so I think you're going to be seeing a lot of me. Um, make sure to subscribe if you resonate with my message, if you resonate with my way of doing things. Subscribe and join me so we can share all of the energies that are going to be coming up in the further months ahead. Sending so much love, you guys. And I hope you have a wonderful full moon.